Are you making the right choices? Are your fears clouding your judgment? This is a day where doubts can creep in. It'll leave us wondering if we're being too cautious, or maybe we're being just a little bit too naive, or over-optimistic, or too rigid in our thinking. In love, in relationships, we may feel this disconnect between what we truly want to do and what we feel obligated to do. Or perhaps it's our money. When it comes to money, the anxiety might be more about our long-term security than some kind of immediate gain. So today is a day when we are being challenged. We're being challenged to confront our own limitations. So join me as we embark on a journey of self-discovery. We'll gain an understanding of how to embrace this energy and move forward today and every day. So hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all the positive, loving support you send me each and every day. I send it right back to you. You guys absolutely rock. Welcome to your daily focus, October the 4th, 2024. So today, today we have the four energy. The four energy is about our foundations, strong foundations. So we are looking at our foundation and understanding where the weaknesses are in our foundation, where we allow limitations to not allow that part of our foundation to grow strong. It could be about more about getting our ducks in a row. So we could be strategizing. We could be planning a little bit more or looking at our strategy, reassessing things perhaps. It could also be about family, love. Okay, that closeness. And growing that family-like atmosphere or that, that welcoming kind of energy in our home and who we are. And if we look at the daily numerology, it'd be a 1 plus a 4 plus an 8. That gives us a 13 energy. Now, the 13 is a very powerful, lucky number. I know you think it's bad luck. And a lot of times under a 13 energy, what happens to us does seem bad. It doesn't seem good. It doesn't seem like we're making a right move. It doesn't feel like something wonderful has happened to us. Usually it feels like the exact opposite, but it leads us towards great happiness, great security, great wealth, great abundance, great love in our life. And one plus three is a four. Okay, so we circle back to the four energy, knowing that the four energy is electrified today. The sun is in Libra and our moon moves into Scorpio around 7.30 a.m. So the majority of us will have a full day of Scorpio moon energy, asking us to dig deep, find the truth. Allow our primal passions, our primal energy to flow. And Mercury and Saturn talk in the sky today, and that's going to bring in frustration, okay? Um, we may not feel like we're being heard or not being understood, or we can doubt ourselves, our decisions. We may feel under pressure to meet expectations. We could feel stuck, frustrated by responsibilities that seem to limit our personal freedom, okay? Feelings of inadequacy will probably arise in one way or another. And all of this makes it very difficult to trust in our path. So once again, we get that slow and steady wins the race, you know, be the turtle. This is an opportunity for growth. Recognize your limitations that are holding you back. Instead of seeing restrictions as roadblocks, view them as stepping stones. So it really is a time when we can master self-discipline. We can master patience uh, definitely a time to reassess long-term goals and focus on what you can control. Okay. Don't, you know, fight for things that you cannot control. Don't waste your energy on those things. Be very practical. You know, perhaps, I don't know, you're seeking a balance between your personal desires, your responsibilities. You ask yourself, you know, what obstacles are teaching me valuable lessons in discipline and patience? Where do I just keep pushing and I need to back it up, have a patience with myself, with the process perhaps? Or maybe where I need to apply a little bit more self-discipline in my life. You know, am I trying to force my way through something? Or should I be taking a step back and taking the time to understand it? Or am I resisting necessary changes? Or am I procrastinating? 
Maybe I'm avoiding that difficult work that I know needs to be done. So what long-term goals need reassessment? And how can we take those small steps toward achieving them? Take the time to plan. Take the time to strategize. Practice the patience with yourself. Practice the patience with your path forward. You know, once again, it's about finding that sweet spot. I keep hearing that sweet spot, that that moment of true balance between our desires and our sense of freedom on a day like today. You know, our desires, our sense of freedom, I guess I should have finished that versus all the responsibilities and obligations that we have. So how do we allow ourselves to find joy in a day when we feel overworked? What needs to give or where do we need to work where we are just experiencing too much joy in our life? When it comes to relationships, perhaps we're holding back on expressing our deeper emotions because we we fear rejection or they'll mock us or they'll minimize who we are. And yet we want to build that strong relationship, you know, in our money, you know, investing in our future. Are we stuck in old patterns? They keep us from taking those necessary risks to actually go forward. You know, there's this urge to play it safe. And that could feel very comforting. And it's also preventing you from growing in new ways. So are you holding back for fear of failure? Or is it the fear of success? What keeps you from embracing your true potential? So ask yourself today, what am I afraid of? And what small steps can I take to bridge the gap between where I am and where I want to be? So on a day like today, yes, the path, you know, it's going to feel uncertain. But within this uncertainty is the opportunity to redefine our limits and discover a new sense of balance. Okay, let's turn to the card, shall we? Our underlying energy is the four of pentacles. What are we holding on to that limits our progress forward? That keeps us so that we can't stand up and just spread our arms and twirl. Because when we do that, when we let go of some things in our life, things that no longer have value, things that no longer support us, that's when we see the gate behind us, that giant pentacle with angels guarding it, waiting for us and us alone. It is our path. It is waiting for us. But there are some things we need to let go of. So where does our fear, where does our anxiety exist? And is it in succeeding? Is it in failure? And understanding how to bring in that balance in your life, where you feel like, you know, your day's complete. There was joy. There was happiness. There was work. There was all the emotions. You know, I always say living in Ontario, you get to experience all four seasons every day sometimes, more often than not. And so this is kind of like experiencing all the emotions every single day, from happiness to to sadness. Because in our times of struggle and our times of despair, that is when we can grow the most. But there's also that sense of our level of happiness and joy saying that we also see the love, the beauty, the connection we have with our heart, the joy, the celebration. The page of wands is back. Page of wands tells us, you know, really concentrate, think about plan, strategize what you truly want to bring into your world. And the limitations are not here at all. In fact, this is no limitations. This is wide open. Look at that expansive background. And there's nothing there. It's just brown. It's just nothingness. So we can create anything. We can put anything into place that we want to right now. We do have that power. Ten of Pentacles is back again. This is the yes card. This is saying yes. If you... If you put your focus on it. If you fill it with, you know, 
thought and focus and action. You will have the successes. You will have the prosperity. You will have the great love or the wonderful good health that you are in search of, that you are trying to master in your world. This is the yes card. So any kind of limitation, any kind of fear, any kind of anxiety that you ask a question to, will I be able to be successful on this path? The answer is yes. You will go through every one of those limitations, those obstacles. You will reach that, that I hear sweet spot, that sense of, that level of happiness, of joy, knowing that you have accomplished something great. Will it take hard work? Chances are yes. Will it take partnerships? More than likely. No man is an island. Will it take magic? Well, we do have the high priestess walking away from the situation. Like, I'm done here. I've done my job. Not only do you realize the magic that lays around you that you can utilize, but you've also gained the wisdom of the magic within you. And you've utilized that as well. And then we have the strength card. The strength card is walking with authenticity, with integrity. Your word is your bond. You're trustworthy. And you have trust in the people that surround you. This is about gaining or realizing, I would think, not even gaining, but realizing the strength, the incredible strength, the incredible courage that you have within yourself to bring it out, but to bring it out with a sense of integrity. And people don't fear you. People know that they can work side by side and gain great strides with you in their own path. So this is about understanding your strength, understanding your courage and taking a risk on you, your wants, your dreams, your desires, your sense of freedom, of liberation. And yet being able to meet your obligations and responsibilities. Let's see what our Oracle cards have to say today. Empowerment 45. Four plus five is a nine. So, but also when I see repeating numbers like one, two, three, four, five, you know, seven, eight, nine, I always think that that's a, it's time to move forward. It's time to empower ourselves by going through those obstacles, by going through those limitations. It's, you know, on your market set go kind of energy for me that I attach myself to. So with a 45, even though it is about endings and completions and maybe even healing in the 45 energy as we know it in the nine energy, it is to make way for those new beginnings, those things that we really want to bring into our world. Okay. And empowerment. So let's get to the book and see what they have to say. The moment for respect for life and of all living things, attuning to nature and to the creatures of the earth is at hand. Tune into the deep well of compassion that spills over readily to anyone who needs your help. You, will be you are being directed to take action to remove difficulties, resolve problems. Be receptive to guidance from wherever it happens to come. Don't be surprised to receive support, support from unusual avenues. Be alert to seemingly random input, which will give you clues and ideas that have not occurred to you earlier. Once you have picked up these signs, pursue them diligently and with determination. The potential for them to pay off is immense. As soon as you know what action to take, take it. So, you know, it's all about with this card here. Yes, we want to go slow and steady, but we do not want to procrastinate. So when we come up with a plan of action, even an imperfect action, this is a time when we need to take the action 
even an imperfect action, because we will learn from it. We will grow from it. And this is a time when we are actually being the butterfly inside of the cocoon. The cocoon starting to rip apart. We're pumping our wings. We're putting the blood into them. We are empowering ourselves to fly. And let's go to our animals, our higher intuition oracles. And we have sing your song, sing your song. And I believe it was yesterday or was it the day before our voice or the strength of our voice. I'm pretty sure that was yesterday. Where are you? My little bluebird. There you are. Sing your song. Sing, create, express respect. A bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has the song. Isn't it time to listen to the song in your heart? Bluebird tells you you've been hiding and now it's time for you to sing whatever song you feel. It doesn't necessarily have to be a happy tune if you're feeling sad. Honor your emotions and express them. However, Bluebird would prefer that you sing a song that turns to one of happiness and higher emotion. Bluebirds are gentle, non-aggressive creatures that tend to avoid confrontation are patient with other kinds and if a bluebird feels threatened or is upset it stands its ground it defends itself and its own kind so it's about being kind but it's also you know to a point because if you feel like you are being threatened in any way in jeopardy in any way it is a time to stand strong but we also do that from a very what was it here that they how they said it being gentle and non-aggressive by using your voice, by using your wisdom. If Bluebird feels threatened or upset, it stands its ground, defends itself in its own kind. Bluebird has shown up in your reading because it feels as, as though you have allowed others to take what is yours, and now it's time for you to stand strong. The situation could have just arrived, or it could be an argument, or a situation that has lingered for years. Respect what's said, but know that you need to respect your own stance too. Don't shoulder another's problems if they aren't taking the same responsibility. It's as, it is important to be patient and kind with your words. You have nothing to explain, nothing to defend. This is your life. And by following the song within your heart, you will be guided. The frustrations, the conflicts arriving in your path are only to teach you patience and make sure that you are truly listening and not becoming misguided. So once again, we have this, these things are coming into our life to teach us, to teach us a patience with ourselves, to teach us a patience with our path. Bluebird is the color blue and it's often associated with the throat chakra, creative expression so and it is all about being our authentic self isn't it our true expression so um pick up a musical instrument a pen a paintbrush and if you feel you can't vocalize the song in your life maybe another creative way will help you lift that song up so you can finally sing your song so it is about honoring you and it's about where you feel lack it doesn't mean there is lack or where you feel frustration doesn't necessarily mean that you should have something to be frustrated about, but rather it is teaching you where you have set limitations in your in your path or have allowed others to do it or have placed obstacles in your path. And by backing it up, by backing it up a little bit and understanding what you are actually confronting, what is the fear? What is the anxiety? What holds you back? Are you procrastinating? Are you seeking balance? Are you being selfish in some way? Are you trying to grow harmony and beauty? Start asking yourselves these questions and pretty soon you will realize the answers of what you need to do, of how you need to maybe step in a new way in the, with a new understanding, a new perception, a new clarity that takes you towards that success that has been, you know, just out of grasp for maybe a short period of time, maybe a very long period of time. So join Bluebird today, sing your song, become the turtle, and until we meet again, remember, I do love you.